sadly, this is a small lot of that I was hoping for, but... <coughs> that's what we have to do, at least it looks really competitive. So... Let us begin. I'll try to make this video, once again, basically me talking about how I play and what decisions I make in a race. So, first of all, most importantly, what, what track are you playing? So, in this example, we're playing the Supermarket 2. This track is known for being uh, not fun, let's say. So, what you're gonna do is you're gonna, as you saw me there, uh, I break and let everyone go by. Why do they let everyone by? Because they're probably gonna kill each other in, in that ch choke point, and then I can actually get to run. So I'm gonna dodge the rocket on the left, and I need to dodge this one, but okay, he threw it a bit too early. It's fine though. Uh, let's react quick on that. So, Killer has a zap right now, but he can't get to me, so I'm fine. I can just go. So, it's really important to use the F3 cam on uh, on a track like this. So I'm gonna keep it on Ash, and I'm not gonna kill him here, because I know he's gonna go in there before I do. So now I'm gonna have to move it to power 8. Killer's still getting zapped behind me, but he can't do anything unless he reaches me, so I'm fine. No, that was pretty un that was incredibly unfortunate. Because uh, that rocket could have put me anywhere else except exactly there, but yeah. I mean that's just the nature of how shit this track is. So I'm not gonna throw them, I'm gonna throw it here. So there's no oil here. Well, now there is, so I dodge it. Okay. There's another there, right? Yeah. This track is all about F3 and getting luck on lap 1. I got decent luck on lap 1, but the follow up is not good, so. Now I'm just gonna keep my F3 on Radiancer, I'm gonna follow him. I'm not gonna kill him because he, he is a marker that I actually need. Probably should have put my, my F3 even further ahead, so I had a chance at seeing those. That's probably a mistake. But there's no oils on the inside, so I can safely turn in. And just take uh, the inside as much as I want. So I can overtake Radiancer on the straight because Mambra is lower than Zipper. So I will take the inside. Go wide because I forgot to check the soil. So, top 3 are fighting, Rod is 4th. There's no oils on the inside, so I can safely do this. And now I'm gonna move my camera back to the top three. I think there's no oils on the, at, at the end, which is okay. And I'm gonna throw the shockwave because the only thing that can help me right now is the battery. So there are oils there. I can just go a bit aggressive going around them. Probably won't matter at this point because they are at the finish. So I'll just yellow this landing. Hopefully I land, which I did. And it's a fourth, because they didn't kill each other much ahead, and I had an incredibly unfortunate rocket kill by killer. I mean, he rolled three zaps in a row, so... That was three zaps in a row back to back into a rocket. And I happened to land in the worst possible position where I couldn't defend myself, so... That's just unfortunate, it happens sometimes. Now I go to the next track, which is... A better one. <laughs> I don't hate on the market too at all, I swear. So, now I have rooftops reverse. Now here's a few things you need to understand about race prep. So, while you're sitting here waiting for the host to start the race, what, what can you do? You can analyze the track and the car that you're playing. So, first of all, you go from track. The track is, in this case, rooftops reverse. You ask yourself, is there a star? And if there is a star, where is it? Is it easier? Is it easy to get? Can I get it? And if you're not the one getting it, if, as long as there is one, what is the chance of someone else in your lobby actually getting it? Now, this requires some knowledge of the players in your lobby. But like... I have hindsight in the fact that I know almost everyone that I play with. So... For example, I know... That... People like Erzu, people like Ama... Or even Mati. Like, people like that usually go for every star possible. 
So, given that this lobby does not have Erzo and Amo, it does have Mati, but Mati has recently not taken that many stars, so I'm completely fine in just assuming that there won't be a star in this race, which uh, significantly devalues the power of battery as a pickup in this race. Another thing you need to think about would be... Also, did he actually battery that? Yeah, he either battery that or that was some insane lag. Well, here you can see an example of uh, really bad luck, because he got a uh, zap into a battery and uh, it just happens, there's not much you can do about it, so you just accept it, move on. So that, now I'm gonna keep my F3 on Killer because this track is uh, infamous for hit, like blind corners, and blind corners are oils' best friend. So the way I'm gonna lose the most time on this track is getting oiled. So what I can do to prevent the oils is just to have my F3 cam on someone slightly ahead of me and just scout for oils like that. Now, this oil was basically like, there's just no chance me, of me seeing it. Because uh, the F3 cam doesn't really help me much with that one. But in general, it will help you. So at this point, I'm just gonna go for batteries. Because realistically, I'm probably just gonna finish third if I don't do anything. So might as well risk it. So I'm just gonna go for every pickup in possible. And in the hopes of getting a battery. Because nothing else will change my position until the end of the race. Given that the, the two people in front of me, I know that they, they are, I think those are a stinging killer. And neither of them is gonna get uh, any, like, no, neither of them will have any problems actually finishing this race. Which also means that uh, there's effectively no chance of me catching them on pace alone. So when that happens and you think you're safe, you should just risk it. There's no point not risking it at this point. Uh, if I risk it, I'm gonna get third. If I don't risk it, I'm still gonna get third. So you might as well risk. So I'm gonna risk getting bombed right now. Another thing I wanted to mention is... After you've analyzed the whole thing about like how the track works, what pickups you're looking for, and also the, the star conundrum that I mentioned. Here is where you start thinking about uh, what car you're playing. Because the car might actually make a difference as well. So in this case, I'm playing Zipper. What is Zipper weak to? Landings. This track has... While it has a lot of jumps and landings, the actual jumps themselves uh, are not bad. Like, Zipper does, doesn't really die on any of these. For the most part. It can die on some, but like, in general it's pretty consistent. So you're actually not too worried about the track itself. Which is good. Also, you know how I said uh, no matter what I'm gonna finish third and I finish fourth? Wow, that it did happen, it did require some incredibly bad luck, so yeah, it just happens. And now we move on to the next, maybe, maybe I get more luck in the next ones. So now we go airport one. Now airport one has a star. But I think it's unlikely that anyone takes it, so saving batteries make, uh, doesn't really do much. Also, the track has a massive straight down the main straight, uh, so you probably want to use batteries anyway. So there's really there, there's really no point saving them at all. Also, Zipper here has a really hard time actually stopping for this turn, so that was pretty YOLO what I did there. But I think the risk is worth it in that case. Also. You know, sometimes you get zapped by the same person like uh, six times in three races. So. And I know I can't do anything because Radiancer keeps crashing. Yeah, but like, at least I can slow down so I don't get zapped. So effectively you can see how, e how easily a race can just uh, go nowhere in like an instant. Even though it looked like I'm leading. So. There is a very cool thing you can do here with uh, semi pros on this track, where you can uh, hit the brakes at the escalator. Now, in this case, there was no pickup there, but it could it could have spawned. So it was worth for me to try because I, right now I need pickups to save this race. Still gonna go on the fast path because the path uh, I need everything I can gain right now. So I know Radiancer has no pickup because he just took one. So I'm gonna battery now and get get away from him. I, re I, I really need everything right now to save this race because this already started really really weak. So this is the pickup I was talking about but Mati got it unfortunately. Right here. If you break 
mid jump, if you tap the brake, you will slow down just enough to actually not jump over the pickup. This is a useful trick on this track. Pretty much always works. So well, uh, you need to keep it in mind for for, uh, for the slower classes. For the faster classes, it doesn't matter. But it's pretty useful. I know a lot has a pickup right now, so I'm just gonna go slightly wider. I he did have an oil. Which is kind of okay. Okay, I did hit him. Again, if you think someone is uh, lagging too, you can shoot all the stuff. In front. Uh, this was the uh, yeah, this was the example that I wanted to show, but I forgot. It's fine. I can do it next lap. But right now, you can see I'm kind of in the middle of nowhere in this fifth place, so I'm kind of just watching ahead and hoping something happens. They put a fake on the left side, so which I have to dodge now. So I'm gonna go wider. Okay, I thought it's I thought it's another fake. Okay. That did not look like the same fake. So now I'm gonna put the camera on power eight. Cause I want to see if there's an oil behind this corner. And there isn't. Yeah, I guess I'm gonna keep it on dodge. So the pickup is right here, you tap break mid-air, you take it, and now I'm in a much better uh, position than Rod is. Unfortunately it was an oil, so it doesn't do shit. Uh, I, I missed blocking power rate, so I can't do anything. Although power rate seems to have crashed there on the ramp. Okay, that's pretty unlucky for him. Well, you can see how uh, even I can get absolute disgusting luck sometimes. These, three, these first three races are terrible. Now I go to Aspen side, which uh, is generally hated by everyone except me. I really like this track, so maybe here is where my luck turns around. But don't lose hope. Just because you had three bad races, don't lose hope in a session. Just keep playing properly. This track has a star, but no one will get it, so I'm not worried about batteries. I'm gonna try to do it, just stick to the inside on every corner. Because the inside is faster. Here I'm gonna just let them go and then take the inside myself. And here I just go hard left. But uh, that, there was an oil there, so unfortunate start so far. I'm gonna take this pick up here and then break so I can actually make the turn. You wanna always stick to the inside on the, this track. You never wanna run wide. Running wide is slower in every case. So what you really want to do on this track Absolute, absolutely mandatory is uh, snipe oils on turn 1. Every single person always oils turn 1 in this track. And pretty much nothing else. So, as long as you don't get oiled on turn 1, you're fine. Also, this was my mistake. Uh, well, I went a bit too much. On the inside there. So there's the oils on turn 1 that I mentioned. Okay, I shouldn't have uh, run two wheels into that, but I'm fine. So basically, see how I said that they always oil turn 1, and you can see that they put two oils there, and I'm pretty much the only one that did not run straight into them. Here you want to take the turn like this, uh, drift to the bed, stay on the inside, and uh, you go on the on the throttle earlier than the rest. I'm gonna throw the zap here because I don't need it, go wide again to dodge all the zaps, uh, the oils, my bad. And then take this pickup. You always want to go, like... From the outside to the inside, so you have visibility. I'm gonna just throw these. And then I managed to dodge his zap this way. So now I'm gonna put my camera on the van. Uh, I'm gonna take this pickup, which is actually a fake. My okay, that's the surprise. Okay, so I need I need to see if there's oil on turn one. There's no oil on turn one, so I can go. I'm gonna kill Sting there. And now, there's usually no oils on this inside, so I'm, I think I'm fine. This is a fake, so I'm gonna go around. Okay, no, that was pretty unlucky. That's a weird rocket. So I'm gonna grab this pickup. Stick to the inside, check for turn one. Oh, I might as well get the start at this point. I'm just gonna start there. Someone else started at the same time. Okay. And someone oil turn one. Like probably the last person. Okay. 
Oh my god. Okay, never mind. There is an oil here, which, uh, yeah, it's on the outside. Okay. Okay. I'm getting absolutely destroyed this session so far. So now we move to fairground one. Wait, how did they finish? Uh, okay, I see. So now we go to fairground one. So, when you're thinking of winning a session, you wanna also somewhat oh you can at least you can like name it name people in your head that you think are like front runners and then uh, you just mark those people like for example right now i think that realistically the top three is probably looking like sting killer and ashen so i'm like having a mental note that i need to beat those those three guys at all cost while maybe the, maybe the the rest if, if i'm like in in a gamble fight with someone else I probably don't need to play as, as uh, risky as I would otherwise. For example, if Ray, if, Ray, if uh, five laps down the line, Ray Dancer and me are leading the race, and I can make a, like a gamble that can pay off, that could have, uh, that could backfire on me. I probably wouldn't go for it because I, I don't care about that one point from Ray Dancer because it's not one of my competitors, basically. So you make those decisions. So Killer has no pickup right now, so I'm, I'm free to cycle for this. And again, he has no pickup, so... The plan right now is to shockwave him on the straights. Which I will do probably on the exit. Like here. So that he goes up there and I uh, safely dodge his zap, because he's up there. Now all I have to do is just stay ahead. Zipper d does tend to land bad there, so uh, you have to keep that in mind. I'm gonna throw the balloons because they don't protect me from stinging anyway. Stick to the inside to dodge the oil. Probably throw the rockets. He has balloons. He has two more. Right, that one hit. So I'm just gonna stop zap him, and that ended up being bad because he also had a zap. But then again, he's been rolling zap the whole session, so I'm just gonna take this pickup to make sure. If, if, if he happened to get hit on the crossroad, I would have ended up zap, zapping him and myself and lose even more time. So I just wanted to avoid that situation. So I get a bomb here, which is like just completely useless, obviously. So... Okay, we know Killer has a zap again, so I'm just gonna put my camera on him. Oh yeah, also, z you need to know if your car... Uh, how your car handles pickups like batteries and zaps and also bombs so for me for example i know the zipper tends to ignore bombs and is very good with batteries so i'm not afraid to use those pickups you need to have that in mind for you for the cards you play so um, i missed my chance to zap killer here on the crossroad because he was too far away so i effectively don't need this pickup anymore so i'm just gonna throw it away in the hopes of getting something like a shockwave or a battery, I would pretty much toss everything else at this point. I don't think anything is gonna reach anyway. Yeah, they just finished, so that is just a podium. But at this point I'll take anything. Because I'm, I'm so far off on points from everyone. See, for example here I can tell that Ashen is... Uh, well, not Ashen, but Powerade dropped points here. So now I know that the power rate is also potentially out of it, but it's, it's still a bit too early because I can still turn this session around, but I need a lot of luck for this, given how incredibly poorly it started. So now we move to Toy World 1. Now Toy World 1 is entirely RNG dependent on what happens on lap 1. So this track is usually won on lap 1. And it, of course it depends on top speed, but generally speaking, most of the cards in semi-pro are kind of the same, unless you have uh, like tributes, and which we don't in this case. So this race will be entirely defined by how lap 1 goes. So I started row 2, 
And all I have to do is pray that I don't die on this landing, because Zipper tends to die on this landing. I managed to save it roughly. And now you just run as much as you can. And you pray. As long as you, I don't die to landing, I should win this race. I'm gonna throw the shockwave because I actually need to defend from Sting. I did get the, a very good pickup for this. He has balloons. Okay, I managed to dodge it very well. So I'm gonna oil there. Which, uh, they, see, seemingly they died on, which is good. Now you need to remember, when you're playing a, fa a faster class like Semi Pro, Oils last for about 26 to 27 seconds. So being given that my lap, last lap was 24, and this lap is probably like 25, if I had to guess, that means my oil is still up there. So now I have to dodge my own oil. Like that. And they might not have to because it might have vanished right in, in front of them. So that is a thing you need to keep in mind. This becomes a real problem in pros and super pros. It's a general issue for like small tracks with fast cars that you need to keep in mind. So TODR, on this track if you're playing a semi-pro or higher you should probably have in mind that you can run into your own oil. So this oil is not here which is good for me. I'm just gonna keep the zap because I don't really need anything else and I'm pretty happy with it. So I think it's the best pickup that I'm, I can possibly get. I'm not gonna entirely hug the wall because I want some angle at least of visibility for potential lap car oils. Because that's the, that is re really the only way I can lose this race, is uh, getting oiled by someone who was ahead of me. For example this oil right here, I saw it from a mile away. The best way to, do, to avoid this is to just go down the stairs and you brake a little bit and then your car should generally handle them pretty well. I think Killer didn't see it and uh, ran into it. And this is a smooth sailing to victory because of what I said. Uh, this track is entirely dependent on how lap 1 goes. Lap 1 went well for me and I led the race, which means that I just cruised to the victory with not much issues. It's, uh, it's a pretty one dimensional track. It's, an, it's entirely dependent on, the, on your start. Now I move to a track that I actually like, which is uh, Urban Sprint. Now, Urban Sprint... This track usually uh, tends to have gaps between players. Like, uh, because of, of its nature, it's a little longer, it has a very long straight at the start. And is uh, somewhat technical, so... Generally speaking, if I, I think if I get away on this track, I kind of win, and that will be my aim. Like I can I can just run away if I lead in, in this race, which is currently where I am. But Powerade got a zap, so I'm gonna immediately throw in my zap. And now because I'm leading, I should be able to keep this. A very important corner is the last corner, and you need to really think about your last turn. So I'm gonna dodge this rocket by going further right, and now I just open, oh, I open up the corner and I run away. So now, if I drive well, no one should be able to catch me until the end of the race. And there's no crossroads or anything, so as long as I don't mess up this last turn, I'm fine. Best way to do the last turn is to slow down, turn, and then a very precise uh, acceleration tap just as you hit the ground. If you do it properly, you just immediately accelerate upon touching and you move on. If you do the, ra the tap wrongly, you're gonna spin. If you wanna be safe, you just uh, keep your brake pedal down all the way until you reach the, the ground. It's a really hard corner, but generally when you have a 90 meter lead like I do right now, you can take it as low as you want and you will never lose. So all I have to do right now is effectively drive and I win. Uh, the only way I can lose this race right now is a bad star or Sting basically rolling two zaps back to back. Uh, not two zaps, sorry, two batteries. And uh, 
given that the odds of that happening are incredibly unlikely, there's no point in me risking trying to fish for royals right now, because I could get a bomb and that could put me in range of a shockwave. And that could lose me the race. So given that I would rather just ba uh, bet on uh, Sting not getting two batteries back to back, I think it's just easier for me to do nothing in this case and hold the rockets. By the way, this doesn't have to be rockets. Like some people here would cycle and be like, okay, I need an oil or I need a zap. You don't. You really don't. You can just, with a gap like this, all you have to do is just drive to the finish. So you don't really need a certain pickup, just any pickup that's not a bomb, you just hold, like these rockets. It doesn't matter. Even if I had a battery, I wouldn't use it until pretty much like the last raid here, because I could at least save myself from a star, which could lose me the race. So even if it was a battery, I don't use it. They need to evaluate, like, when is it a good time to cycle? That's a good thing to have in mind. In this case, there was pretty much no point in me cycling at all. Because I, I could risk the win if I get a bomb there. Well, I could just hold the ba hold the rockets and just drive and win on driving alone. Because my gap was so huge. That is a decision you make based on your situation. And uh, also, you need to make the decision based on how good you think you are, by the way. I should have mentioned that. Like, if you think, for example, the player behind you is a lot better on a, or on a better car, you need to evaluate in your head, okay, can he catch me? For example, you can have an 80 meter lead on this track, but you're driving fat slug and behind you, you're getting chased by a Canberra cruiser. Even though the gap is big, yes, 80 meters is probably not enough to win the race if you have one more lap to do. So this is something you need to have in your mind. In this case though, I would say Sting doesn't catch me on pace when we're comparing a zipper to an Adian. So there was there was no point in me cycling there. Now we move on to Spavolt 1. Also, if you remember how b poorly this session started, I just won two races in a row. So never give up and keep playing well. And hope for the best. So I can still turn this around with enough luck. We'll see what happens in the end. So now Spa Vault 1. This is one of the hardest tracks in the game. And there is a very cheeky thing you can do at the start. You can just go on the right here and take these pickups. Which is actually what I'm going to try to do. As long as I get a chance to do it. I'm going to slow down just to make sure I enter here without sliding. I take this pickup and now... I'm in the same place that I probably would have been if I went with everyone else. But I have a pickup. Now I could have been better than the rocket. Because rocket doesn't do much. I can just go... Raid answer here, but that doesn't really accomplish much. But it's still better than just going on the left and having nothing. Because if that was a shockwave, I could have killed like four people there. So, you need to make sure you make this jump. If you do not make this jump, or anything other than a rookie, by the way, I should say, because uh, mo some rookies can't do that jump. But basically, this track is entirely about that jump. You need to make sure that this jump is something that you will not fail. You're kind of not allowed to fail that jump. On the higher classes because it's it's so much of a time loss that you just can't do anything if you actually mess it up so here I'm just gonna go straight because there's there's a guaranteed pickup and it's also the easiest line to play I'm also gonna go this way yeah, that, was, that was a bit unfortunate I see Sting has a battery so I guess this will be a two horse race between me and Sting in the next lap because we should clear Matty here so I'm gonna battery this and I'm gonna chase after them, because I know Sting has no pickup right now, so I'm just gonna try to get it before he does. I couldn't, so this, this is a scary position. But Sting had no speed to make the jump. I mean, he made it, but he rolled over, so I think he, we are out of range of anything he can throw at us right now. So Mati has a pickup, so I need to be wary if that's a zap or not, which it seems like it is. Okay, no, it's not a zap. Sting has a zap though, which is why I need to oil. But unfortunately, he got a perfect balloon there, so I could not get it in time. That's unfortunate. I'm gonna go left again because it's the easiest line to play. I get to keep speed and I go this way. I'll, I'll drop the oil because I don't need it. I don't need that ball either. But I'm not gonna throw the ball just yet because I have nothing else to get to obtain. Like, I need to always have a pickup on you. So, right now I could throw the ball, yes, but like, what am I gonna get in a way, you know? I want to exchange it for something else and not just keep it. Also, Sting messed up the jump because he tried really hard to fake me there. But I managed to avoid it in time. So, realistically, I could right now risk it to beat Mati and I kinda need the points. So I'm gonna try. 
And I don't think I'm in the risk of losing it to Sting. So I try to go a bit more YOLO, but it's not going to be enough. So I'll just have to settle for second. That's still good. Even if, even if I didn't win the race, I think I had very bad luck overall again. So second is still good because uh, I win points on the people who I'm actually trying to beat. Because I don't think I'll be fighting Matty at the end of the session with how the races have gone so far. I'm pretty sure Sting and Kill are the 1-2 in the session with, and I got points on both of them. So this was still overall okay. Although I wish I could gain more points than what I've gotten so far on them. In terms of, uh, see, for example, Ashen and Powerade tied here, I guess this is some trivia. If two people tie, on, on right now on Ashen's screen, Ashen, is, Ashen finished ahead of Powerade. On Powerade's screen, Powerade finished ahead, but what actually matters is who's ahead on the host screen. And on the host screen, which is me in this case, it's Ashen, so Ashen will get the points over Powerade. So, and that, that's how that uh, gets resolved. Now we move to Garden. Garden is... Very RNG. Uh, it's one of those. It's the same as uh, what I said earlier about Toy World One. It's once again, however lap one goes, that will decide your race. So you're praying to start at the front, which in this case I did not. But you're really, really, really hoping to get out of lap one alive and in a decent position, because whatever happens after that is. Uh, Nightmare fuel. If you get stuck in the middle on this track, you're just screwed. There's there's no playing this track when you're in the middle. So Killer got a zap. And I uh, got rid of a few people. So I think I can now get third place relatively easy. I just stick to the inside. Yeah, that did not hit unfortunately. Yeah, I was gonna say, generally speaking, you want to check for oils exactly after turn 1. That's the, the most common spot for oil. The other one is uh, right here, so you go a little wider. There's, there's no oil there. Yeah. I was hoping that on lap 1, no one would get oil, because I was only behind two people. I have to throw away this battery here to remove the zap, because it was pretty crucial I get, a, I get away from Ashen there. Because I'm losing too much time to kill and uh, Sting, who are already ahead of me. So I need to transfer this bomb if I can, but I don't think I will, so I'm just gonna oil right here. And that's actually a good fake, because uh, that, didn't, that didn't lose me much. Unfortunately for me though, the 1-2 is very much over. There's there's no chance of the 1-2 changing until the end of the race, like Sting and Killer are gonna finish 1-2, because the lobby is too small. So at this point, what I need to do is damage mitigation, which means I need to finish third. And that's what I'm gonna aim for, because 1-2 uh, is just done. So I get past Dirt Van here. I need to block Radiancer here, because his car has more acceleration, uh, acceleration than mine. Get past Ashen. And what I need to do now is just get to Rod. And I'm gonna try Yolo Shockwave here. Uh, that did not work. But at least I dodged the fake. So I see on his F3 cam that there's no oil here. I jumped over the pickup. Uh, yep, that's a really bad star for me, I lost me a lot of time, Matty even stole my pickup there, so now I need to go wide and get that one, at least the rod lost some time, so maybe there's a chance, but no, I got another bomb, so I don't think I have much of a chance now, I need to give it to Ashen, who has yet another zap, so I kill Matty, okay, at least I saw that oil in time, I'm just gonna take this pickup, I get zapped again, so I'm gonna... I kinda need battery at this point, like I think battery is the only thing that's gonna even give me anything. But uh, nope. There's just nothing. So... I guess I just finished fifth. Yeah, that was a, an incredibly poor race and I couldn't do anything about it. 
those happen. A Sting and Killo did finish 1-2, but Killo actually got Sting. Not sure how. It was either lap cars or uh, Killo got a battery for the star. I'm I'm assuming because I wasn't lo I wasn't looking. But there was no point looking at them at that point because I knew they're gonna finish 1-2 and there was nothing I can do about it. So. Given that there are five races to go, I think my chances of winning this session are pretty much zero now. Because I needed to win points on every single race. So at this point I'm I'm gonna just drive to get second. Because I don't think I win. If I can beat at least one of them, that would be okay. But I think this was one of the mo one of the least lucky sessions I've ever I've ever had. So it's pretty pretty poor. And now we move to Sakura. Sakura... Usually the guy who gets the star has an advantage here. But you don't want to take the star on every car, you want a car who actually can accelerate. And generally you want to take the star only if you're ahead, I would say. I if you're not like first or second go on this track and you go for the star, you're probably griefing yourself. Because the track is too tight, so no matter where you star, you have people in your face and they can kill you. So. Ideally speaking, you want to reduce the number of people who can actually stop you as much as, as much as possible. So for example, here I'm third, so I'm, I don't think I will go for it because there was too many people there. Okay, so I know Ashen has a pickup right now, and I think Powerade doesn't. So, yeah, Powerade did not because he, 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 he went right, yeah. So now he got one. Now this was actually pretty lucky because I m ended up dodging the oil by... Uh, <laughs> Rolling over. So here I'm gonna go right to take this pickup because I, I want to have something right now. I should be still in the same position. Now here I need to slow down to actually land here so I don't uh, risk zipper killing me. Uh, that rocket was supposed to go after killer, not, not after dirt van or whoever it went after there. So I can see right now that Killer's Air means thing is behind me, so this is an okay position to be in. I'm gonna slow down just to make sure there's no oils here. Mm, that was somewhat of an awkward start, but I can get this pickup because of it. So that, would, that turned out a little better than I expected. I'm gonna throw two rockets just in the hopes of maybe hitting Killer, which didn't happen. Uh, it was worth trying though. Kill oiled, so I'm just gonna avoid it. Do I, now here, I could throw this fake, but I kind of don't want to hit Powerade uh, because Powerade is winning points off of Sting for me. So I'm just gonna push. I'm gonna drop that fake to the side because I kind of want Powerade to beat Sting even if I don't beat Killer. So I think it's overall better. And here I'm gonna drop it just to zap Sting because I know Sting was coming. So I kind of need to win points on Sting. So I think it's worth doing. Killer is still chasing Ashen, so there is a chance, there's a small chance that I can get more than just third place here, so I'm just gonna go for it. Although the zap really doesn't help me, so... Oh, I should've zapped there, I didn't see. Yeah, I didn't expect Sting to be that far behind. Could've zapped him there. So I think that's a fake, highly likely it's a fake, so I'm just gonna not take this. I'm gonna throw away the rocket because it does nothing. Deny this pickup from power eight, and unfortunately there's a fake in my face, but... I can still get him. There is a chance I get him because I think I can reach him here. I'm gonna zap him because I think he has enough of a gap to beat Sting to the end of the race. Although that was a really big mistake because I know that was my fake. Oh, I got lucky there. Yeah, this th that was a really bad mistake. Remember where you place your fakes because that fake was mine from last lap. Uh, at least I didn't get punished for it because Power 8 crashed on his own. I lost a point to Killer, but by not killing Power 8 with that fake earlier, I made sure he gained me a point by beating Sting. It was. Yeah, given that I've... Uh... Yeah, so punish. Okay, so now we move on to the last four, which uh, we start from Holiday Camp. It's not reverse. Oh, it is. Okay, thank God I checked. No, CHC. Okay. Is this playable? Yes. Okay. 
So call it a camp in reverse. Uh, this is the track where it's always worth it to cycle for battery. Pretty much no matter what position you're in, you want a battery. You don't really get punished by bombs, so just get a battery at all costs. And that's pretty much the only tip I'm, I can give you for this. So now I know that Radiancer has nothing, so I, I just need to make sure I get a pickup here. So he went, he goes left, I go right, and I overtake. And I got a battery. So now as long as I survive this, I can use it. Which I did. So now I'm gonna use it and run away. I know it's a bit, it looks a bit risky, but I think it should be worth it. Okay, it was not worth it. Well, I wanted to yolo it because I was sure it's gonna work. It worked out, but not because of me using it. That was, a, that was finally some luck in the session that, that that just happened, where everyone got shockwaved except me. So at this point you need to evaluate who's behind you and how far. Because at this point uh, no one can beat you without a battery. Unle unless they get a battery, no one should be able to beat you from this position right here. Even, even 40 meters is too much, given that my car is generally fast. So I shouldn't be, it shouldn't be possible for me to lose this race and, uh, unless Ashen, for example, gets a battery right now. Which, mind you, on this track is very much possible because people cycle for batteries, which is exactly what Ashen just did. So now, he's gonna try to give me the bomb, which I'm just gonna swerve. Just gently swerve. Let him explode. And then kill, kill, kill Killer with our rockets. Which is completely fine. Killer is gonna end up taking the pickup up there, which is actually not that good for me, but uh, uh, what can you do? As long as it's not a shockwave, I'm fine. And now this zap, I'm actually gonna keep. I think it's fine keeping this zap. Generally speaking, in this area, you want to just hold straight and pray you handle the bombs well. It is a bit of a prayer, but yeah, I think generally that's your best play. So here Ashen is gonna zap me and there's no, not much I can do about it. Oh wait, he actually, he actually made a mistake. Okay, I was pretty sure he zaps me there when I have to break to make that turn. That's okay then. So in this case, we go back to the same thing. The only way I lose this race is Ashen getting another battery. Which probably will happen, but I have a zap. So I feel pretty confident that I don't need to fish for a, for a battery myself. Because he can't go far enough away to avoid me. To the point where I can't zap him. So I think I'm safe just keeping it. Let's see how this plays out. Um, it's very like safe to assume that he will get a battery on this last raid now. Which is actually what Killer got. But like, Ashen is protecting me effectively right now, so Killer can't do anything. And Ashen got nothing, so that's just a victory. That was a bit riskier than I would have liked, but at this point I have to take risks. And I just got 5 points on Sting, so... Better than I could have hoped, let's say. I know I did say that you should always go for batteries here, but in this case I felt safe enough to where I don't... Because because of the zap that I had on the straight, even if Ashen did get a battery, I think I, I had it under control there. And as you saw, uh, Killer got a battery right behind him, but Ashen effectively act acted as a bodyguard for me, so I didn't have to do much. So now we go skating toys. Skating toys is better in normal than in reverse for zipper. Because there's less landings. So... Another thing is that this track is incredibly technical. So I can tell you right now that the that the top 3 will be me, Killer and Sting in no particular order. So I'm gonna go all out here to beat those two. And I don't really care about anyone else because I think everyone else I can pretty much just outdrive. So let's see if the top 3 at the end of this race will end up uh, holding up. But that is my prediction. So this was quite unlucky that I ended up where I was, but then again, I was the only one who started that far back of the top 3. I mean, I also think we're top 3 in the session at this point. So here's a trick, if, if you're not sure if your car can do this jump, just break a little and land there. So you don't risk uh, flipping over on this jump, because you can totally flip over, so just break. 
I mean, I really shouldn't call breaking a trick, but you know, people don't know, don't know how to break, so. Here you want to stay on, on top of this, so you accelerate faster. And I, I'm gonna go for the riskier trick because I need to overtake them. So you do this jump. But I, I failed it because I was uh, slightly too far. But I, I guess it turned out better. Ashen did a really good block there, but I managed to kill him. I'm gonna throw this rocket away because I don't need it. I don't really need to zap there, I think I'm fine. But this race uh, has, has ended up quite poorly for me so far, because I'm really far off the leaders, and, and they're both ahead of me. This is a very risky jump that I just did there, but I, I felt like I had to. Because I need to gain time. I'm gonna oil right there so that they're still oiled when they go into this right turn here. So you can see that Sting and Killer are the two people leading the race because they started in a very good position. And now all I have to do is just beat Rod. It's very unfortunate for me that this race ended up like this, but I have had absolutely garbage luck all session, so no, not much of a surprise. So I'm gonna, I have to try for this again and pray I land, which actually did happen. So I'm effectively reducing the gap between myself and Rod, and now I just need to pray that the last pickup I get, which is right here, works off, and I missed it, so because it spawned really late. Oh, I could have, I could have actually gotten them, but uh, yeah, I didn't realize there's an oil there. That's my, that's my bad. Well, I did predict one and two, but I got, I got way too unlucky to actually finish third. So it's pretty bad because Sting just got three points on me for free. But then again, this race started terribly because Ashen got the first pickup and he got a zap, and the only person he zapped was me. So too bad. I guess is what I'm gonna call that and at this point I think my fate is kind of sealed and I'm probably third or fourth overall and there's not much I can do and now we go to home too now home two in reverse the star is relatively easy to get, but it's only easy to get for the people that actually like taking stars. And none of them are present in this lobby, so I'm expecting no one to take it. Uh, this is largely based on oils, again. Because it's a track full of blind corners. So, you want to be as far ahead as possible, and you want to snipe with F3. I was pretty unlucky that Sting actually remained in front of me, but I managed to get by. Oh, Sting did not, I mean, Killer did not kill anyone with that zap. I was pretty sure he will. Okay, that's pretty bad. Though. That is pretty bad. So let's see, is there an oil at the exit of this tunnel? No, there isn't. But there is an oil. On that turn. So now I'm gonna battery and I need to get in front of Sting while I have it. And run away. Because Killer's gonna win the race, I'm pretty sure. Oh no, wait, he's not actually leading. The radiant answer is. Never mind then. Okay, so now we're absolutely in a fight. Killer has a pickup while I don't, so I need to play a bit further back. Although Rod is like really pushing me, I don't know why. And enjoy, I guess. So Killer has no pickup right now. So I'm just gonna oil this. Thank you, Rod. I'm gonna just kill him because I kinda don't want to let him go. Gonna take this pickup, killer will probably kill me with something, or not? Okay, nothing. I'm just gonna kill- I'm gonna kill killer there because I need points 
And I think Radiancer probably won't shoot anything at this point. So I believe I'm safe in just fully driving it out until the end for this final lap. I don't think Radiancer will stop and drop oils or something. So I'm just gonna pretend like I'm first and drive away. And that should be enough to get me second. With enough luck. No, I can still win because Radiancer is, seems to be dying somewhere. So I'm just gonna check my cameras and let's see what's going on. If there's an oil there, I can actually get him. But there isn't. Maybe he runs into an oil in the tunnel there. No, he doesn't. Okay. Well, second is good enough because it's not any of the people that I'm actually fighting. You see, Killer is fourth, Sting is fifth, so I'm gaining points here on both. Two on Killer, three on Sting, so... Hopefully that actually ends up mattering at the end, even though I don't think it will. And if I, if there was any chance that I'm losing to Powerade the Nation, I think this was this this year it was the end because I just gained six and seven points on them. And the final track would be Mysterious Toy Vault Factory Two. I fully risk it coming out of here because I need every single thing I can possibly get. Uh, unfortunately, I'm the only one that gets killed, which puts me on the back foot yet again. I'm just gonna ram Sting here. Oh, okay. I did not expect him to do that. I really wanted to ram him there. So he has a pickup right now, which I don't know what it is. I'm just gonna go right. Unfortunately, that rocket hit me and I died in the worst possible place. So, uh, yeah, I lost a lot of time there. I'm just gonna go as wide as possible, in case there is an oil, there isn't. Sting got away with it, and I got zapped, so I think my race is over. And also my session, because Sting just won the race on uh, that interaction there, I guess I'm gonna call it. He's basically the only one who actually managed to, to drive in there and get out. Because he did not get shockwave, like I did, and uh, immediately after the shockwave, I got zapped. So my race got absolutely destroyed on that zap. So from now, all I can do is just hope I can get killer. But I think he's third. Okay, he actually lost a lot of time. Okay, I can get killer. So I just shift my focus entirely to killer now. Fortunately, with the, with the pickup like this, I can't do anything. I'm gonna go for this pickup on the outside. That was really risky, but I kinda have to. I take this pickup, I'm gonna stick all the way to the inside until now, and now I'm gonna go on the outside. I just take this. Thank you, Dirtvan. wide and take this one because I kind of need it that was a lucky rocket I'm gonna say that looked pretty lucky I did not really expect that to hit I it was just a uh, I mean, it was a very big gamble I would say he's gonna get me here because I have nothing might have been worth it to keep uh, at least one rocket, I guess. I did get him again. I'm gonna go... No, I'm not gonna go wide. No points. He did get the pickup, which was good for him. Uh, I, I should have taken that pickup, probably. He got another battery, so just let him go. There's no points. Now I got the rockets. I think it's a bit too late, though. Those are not gonna hit. So I think he's gone. I don't think I, I, don't think I can get him anymore. So never hit, but I had to try. So. Yeah, and uh, yeah, 
this puts an end to one of the worst sessions I've ever had. But still, I tried until the last race as much as I got, uh, as much as I could. But sometimes you get sessions like this, and that's just life. As long as as long as you're happy with how you played, uh, that's all that matters. And that puts an end to this video. I don't know if I'm even gonna upload this, but uh, eh, probably will. I hope my comments that it wasn't enjoyable enough. I can improve a few things, but uh, I'll think about it for next time that I do this. Anyway, I'll cut it there. Bye.